I'm afraid um, that some employers in the United States wouldn't even, you would have to follow up with that and clarify what that means. Um, and so, um, I, and, and that just shows how, how limited the the understanding of, of, of language ac ac acquisition is, you know, okay. I, I think, I think here, and it may perhaps in the UK as well, but it's a, it's a, it's a, an either, or it's either all in or nothing. It's you're fluent or you don't speak it or something along those lines. And that's such a, such a misunderstanding of the, of, of the fluidity, if you will, of the, of, of, of the spectrum. Um, so, so did you, did you grow up hearing, um, and I may butcher it, but Urdu, did you grow up hearing that at, at, at home? Well, no, not um, not really. I mean, my um, my mother sometimes says that she she spoke to me in the language until maybe I was about two years old, mm -hmm. but um, I think uh, but my father doesn't really speak it. And I think one of the huge reasons. I mean, I'm really looking forward to doing a video of this in the future. Really, why parents often fail to teach their children new languages. But one very simple reason is that if you have one parent speaking it as opposed to two obviously they speak to each other in English. So the child is not getting half of the input that they would get from two parents. They're getting more like a 10th of it or something like that because most of a child's input does not actually come from the baby talk to the child. Most of the child's input actually comes from what they're, what they're seeing. So, right. um, so I mean, I, like I would say that I grew up ultimately with about as many words in Urdu as just the average person passively knows about French. So, you know, the average sure. person knows sure. words like rendezvous and things like that. Um, it was pretty much the same. And in fact, I would say in the last maybe three weeks, I've learned far more Urdu than my entire life. And I can now wow. have okay. a broken conversation sure. with my sure. mother. Sure. Well, that's excellent. That's excellent. So you started, so with Spanish, your first um, in, in this season of your life, not, not counting, not, not that education time doesn't count. I'm not saying that, but just to, to differentiate the, the the seasons, was Spanish your first independent study attempt at a at a at a second foreign language acquisition? Uh, yes. Um, I mean, I could uh, I could technically say Esperanto. I learned that over a few months, and I get I guess it did give me a little bit of a kind of background because there's a lot of romance words in that. Uh, but yeah, for all practical purposes, before I did Esperanto and Duolingo, the the, the only language that, in my opinion, you can learn quite a bit on a dueling yeah, sure. <laughs> um, um but but yeah effectively it was spanish i did drop it for a little bit and then do a bit of italian because of and a little bit of greek because of holidays um sure. but then i picked spanish up and i guess the other those two languages italian and greek had stopped spanish from atrophying so much because greek actually kind of sounds similar even though it's it does. very different it does um, but um, and it, but Italian and Spanish are quite similar, so the short answer I would give is yes. Yes, Spanish was the first. It, would you language? Yeah. Would you label? Would you label yourself as a language dabbler, so to speak? Uh, where you where you try a little bit here, a little bit there, or because um, I know some people, and I I I have that tendency, I would say, but some people some people their personality lends them more to say, look, this is what I'm going to learn and I'm not going to listen to anything else until I learn it. I mean, how, where would you fall on the spectrum there? I think, uh, I think I'm, I'm quite naturally inclined to be a dabbler and that has been how my language learning journey has started and probably, and probably been for too long as well, because, and I mean, I'm sure you'll, I mean, some, sometimes it will just seem like a language in the impulsive few days or hours it just seems to make sense to learn it even if it would mess up the other languages you're doing it's I, I suppose it's quite it's like your it's like a, a new love so to speak yeah. but I'm quite I'm quite fortunate at the moment in that I think the choice has actually been taken from me because Spanish I feel I have no I have no choice but to continue with um, I speak to my daughter in Spanish now um, so and maintaining that is not particularly difficult I guess so I feel like I have no choice but to continue that um Urdu because I can now speak to other people in a very kind of basic way um including my own mother if I just get a little bit better at that I can sure. keep getting better at that every time I speak to some people in my family 
So again, I have no real choice there in a sense. Thank you.